I might say something cheesy here, but I hope you would agree with me at the end of this video. I think Kokoro started a TTS revolution that you can do locally, a high quality TTS, but at the same time, a smaller model, which means computationally effective, faster inference. So you can turn a two minute audio clip just in a couple of seconds on Google Collab T4 machine. And in this video, I'm going to show you every single line of the code. I will share the Google Collab notebook with you so that you can completely run this without having to write a single line of code. I'm going to show you how I've taken a two minute word text and then converted into speech just in a couple of seconds. I mean, imagine like the number of audio books or web pages and stuff that you can convert from text into an audio format without having to pay a single dollar or penny to anybody and that is exactly what we are going to do here. Let's get started with the setup. So this is Kokoro TTS. If you do not know anything about Kokoro, I would strongly encourage you to watch my first Kokoro video. I've got a Kokoro setup using Mac computer, but a lot of you reached out to me saying that I don't have a powerful machine and that is exactly why I decided to make this tutorial using Google Collab, which is a free compute environment provided by Google. So first thing we have to do is if you use the Google Collab notebook that I'll link in the YouTube description, you don't have to make any change, but assuming that you are starting from scratch, first step, click file and then click a new notebook and drive. Once you do that, click runtime and then change runtime and select T4 GPU. As you can see here, I do not have Google Collab Pro. That means I'm not paying to Google. That is exactly why I don't have A100, I don't have L4, but I have access only to T4 GPU, which is most likely available most of the time whenever you want to do this thing. Just don't let the GPU always on. Like whenever you're done with that, then cancel this, click runtime, delete runtime and disconnect runtime. So this is a good practice for you to keep more GPU runtime available within your account. Google doesn't explicitly say how much time you get, but if you keep it open all the time, then you will not get GPU availability. So once you select that, so click change runtime T4 GPU, then that means you have got GPU enabled. One of the easiest way for you to test is you can do Nvidia SMI. And once you do Nvidia SMI, which in this case is showing an error, but for the first time when you run Nvidia SMI, you would get the details around what is that Nvidia GPU that you have got. So I'm going to leave that also within this code. The next thing that we are going to do is we are first going to install Git LFS. And after that, we are going to clone the repo from Hugging Face, Kokoro 82 million parameter. So here you have got the Hugging Face 82 million parameter. This has got both ONNX model and also the PyTorch model. But because we have got an NVIDIA GPU, we are just simply going to use the PyTorch model, not the ONNX model. And also it means like we are going to have higher quality than the ONNX model. So then enter into the folder and install eSpeak NG, which is a speech synthesizing engine for Linux. Google Collab is hosted on a Linux environment, so this is critical for us to run. Then install the required libraries. Phenomizer, Torch, I guess, is mostly pre-installed. Transformers, at this point, I guess, Transformer is also pre-installed. Then SciPy and Munch. Once you install all these library, which takes about like 35 seconds, once you do this thing, the next step is for you to actually get the model, get the voice pack. Model is what is helping us do the TTS. And the voice pack is exactly what is powering the TTS. Like what is the voice pack that you want? So from models, import build, import torch, device is equal to CUDA if CUDA torch is available. So if you have got GPU, one of the easiest thing you can do here is you can just go here instead of NVIDIA SMI, you can probably do this. I'm going to comment that and then you can do this as well. So import torch, torch.cuda is available. If it says true, that means you have got an NVIDIA enabled GPU available. So in this case, you can see it is true. That means you are going to get a device is equal to CUDA. Get the model name, which in this case, we are using the full precision model, which is the 82, billion, 82 million parameter model. And there are a bunch of voice names. So A stands for America, B stands for British, F stands for female, M stands for male. So you have got A, F, Bella, A, F, Sarah, A, M, Adam, A, M, Michael and then a bunch of other voices. So you can select basically whatever voice that you like. And as part of this demo, we will also try different voices and then see how it performs. So once you do that, all you have to do is assign it to voice pack, load it, assign it to voice pack, move it to the particular device. Because we are doing it on GPU, we have to move it to GPU. Otherwise it just like stays on CPU. And display the loaded voice here, just the loaded voices, AF, which is like a default 50-50 mix of Bella and Sarah. 
Now, once you do that, you just have to specify the text. The text that I've got is from a very interesting blog post that I recently read, probably I think I read it today. The blog post name is called Entropy of a Large Language Model Output. So I have taken this, all these texts, I think until this point, and then I've taken this text and then try to do into speech. I try to convert into speech. So if you were to just do a simple word counter, I can go here and paste it here. So we have got 351 words, 2000 characters. So we're going to use this 351 words and convert into a two minute, approximately two minute audio clip, because that's what the output I got. So I've got the text here. So the text, I, you, as you can see here, because it's a multi-line text, I've uh, used three quotes like an F string and uh, you can see a set, like a doc string and you can see here. Then from Kokoro, import generate. It just gives you the details about that, what kind of voice name you want. And uh, one of the important thing is when you have a larger text, it doesn't work by default. So there is a little bit of hack that you have to do here. So what we are going to do is we're going to take the text, uh, the large text that we have got here in this particular case, I would to change the code. So we've got the larger text. We're going to split the text by dot, wherever the full stop is. And then we're going to make it a smaller chunk. And we are going to convert the audio for that smaller chunk and then finally stitch the audio together. And you can play with this just to make sure like you're not missing anything. If you have got a larger error, then you can probably reduce the chunk size. The smaller the chunk size, the number of components that you have to generate will increase. So you can play with that, basically iterate on it and then understand what is the optimal level that you want to select. So in my case, I've selected if length of chunk is equal to less, then just go on with that. Otherwise, you know, you have to chunk it again. So once you do that, at this particular step, you should ideally have the audio clip ready. And then if you are on Google Colab, in this case, all you have to do is use ipython.display and that, that will, you know, technically display the audio for you. So if you want, you can display the phenom as well. So we don't have to display the phenom. Um, I, I don't understand how to read the phenom. So if you have that, I'm going to run it live. So I've got the text here. Once we have the text set, zero seconds. I'm going to now do the chunking and create the audio clip. And as you can see here, it is doing the work and it is trying to convert into and then give me the audio clip and then I can display it. Last time I had two minutes. I don't know if it did the entire audio clip, but let's Large see. Large language models like ChatGPT and Claude have become ubiquitous in today's world. I visited a friend for the New Year's Eve and was impressed by how chat GPT was being So we have got a 50 second clip. So you can simply go here and then, you know, just like playback and whatever Start that you want to do. Things. If you want to write it, you can also write it. But for now, I'm going to just leave it as it is. What we are going to do now is we're going to take the larger text here. So I'm going to take this entire part. Let's say this one. And then I'm going to go here and then paste it instead of what I already have, which is a shorter text. And we were to see the entire time. So now if I go paste it here, yeah, we have 383 words. So I'm going to go back here, run this. Okay. I've updated the text. Then what you can do is you can just go here and then run this and then see how long it takes. And uh, you can see like it is going line by line here, like because we are chunking it based on the dot and it is done already. It took four seconds to do the 383 words. And uh, I guess this is going to be like a two minute audio clip, I guess. Let's play this and see. So when you listen to this audio clip through the video, you would not like find it really good because I've got like a microphone like this, Large something like this. It doesn't do a good like job. Chat GPT and Claude building blocks of tech. But in reality, most of the probability is distributed over only a few tokens, while the rest have close to negligible probability of appearing as the next token. For the rest of the post, let us use chat GPT as an example to understand the concepts. When I type in the following text and look for the next three possible tokens. It does a pretty good job. As you can see here, it did not miss anything. It completed the job and you have got the entire text uh, from this to this as a two minute, 30 seconds clip, which you can just download and then start using it. If you, imagine this is your audio book or this is a web page, whatever you want to do, like a podcast, you can do that. Now I'm going to show you how you can change the voice and use it with a different accent or a different voice. So you know that this is a list. So you have got AF, which is the voice name of zero, which is our default voice. So if you want a different voice, let's say I want like a British male. So in this case, if I want Lewis, so you can go simply like the zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. By default selected um, 
zero here uh, i should have mentioned eight here and uh, i'm going to go ahead with zero here and run this and it should ideally say that it is loading bm underscore lewis uh, that's my bad and i'm going to just run this and it is doing the same thing but we are going to listen in a different voice okay this is done we took five seconds this time and let's see if there is any change in the audio duration and also it's a 24 kilo hertz i think k is like kilo kilohertz audio it's trying to display the audio. Large language models like ChatGPT and Claude have become ubiquitous in today's world. I visited a friend for the New Year's Eve tokens, while the rest have close to negligible. I wish I have British accent, but I don't have British accent, so I've got to live with this. But at the end of this, we have got successfully a two minute, 37 seconds audio clip narrated by a British speaker who probably is not real at this point. And we have managed to take this entire thing using a free resource. We are using Kokoro TTS, which is an open source model with permissive license, which means you can use it for TikTok videos, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, any kind of commercial purpose. And we managed to run this even without having to have a powerful computer, thanks to Google Collab, which is available for free if you have got a Google account. So the barrier is almost simple and let me know if you actually agree with my initial statement. I would love to hear about it. But for now, thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. The Google collab will be in the YouTube description. Try it out. See you in another video. Happy prompting.